Hey everyone, my name is Lachlan and I'm the manager of the customer support team here at Core Plus. This is the first in a planned series of videos where we'll be taking you through your account and showing you how to set up various things. Now, I'm sure we're all aware of the importance of online bookings and today's video will be about the client portal add-on. This is a free add-on that will enable you to make yourself available for online bookings. So first things first, let's enable the add-on. So we'll click on setup and add-ons over here. I'm going to click on the client portal tile and click on the orange enable button. Now you'll see a terms and conditions pop up appear, just basically explaining that your availability and profile will be available online. That's exactly what we want. So let's agree to that. And there we go. We've now enabled the add-on. And you can see it's got the four essential components that we need to set up listed here. So we've got appointment types. We need to select a specialty and map appointment types to it. We need to set up our practitioner profile and we also need to set up the practitioner schedules. Now at the bottom here, you can continue to the portal setup itself and define those settings, but let's go through in a logical order and we'll start with the schedules. Now, before we create the schedule, we do need to assign a location to that schedule. So let's set up a site with a postcode. Now the postcode is important so that the portal knows what time zone you're in. So we'll just click on setup and settings over on the left hand side. And we'll click on the sites option under administration. So we'll click on add site and I'll just pop in a, a site here. So let's go with Flinders. Go with one Flinders Street, Melbourne. And there we go, we'll save that. And we've now got our site created there with the postcode. So let's create a schedule now by opening up our calendar. Okay, so we've got our calendar open here. On the left hand side, you can see we've got blue buttons here for create and view schedule. Now these will only be available in the day view. So if you've got columns here for different days of the week, you'll need to click up the top right hand side uh, where it's got a day view button and that will show these for you. So let's click on create schedule. Now, as an example, we're just gonna go through quite a simple schedule. We're just gonna do Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So firstly, we'll set the, the frequency. We're gonna make sure this is every week, but we do have other options here. In terms of the date range, we're going to go from today's date to the end of July. Importantly, we've got a publish to area here. So we want to publish this to client portal. For the days active, we'll go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, so we've got nine to 12 as the first session, 12 to one as a break, one to five as the second session. For both of these, we're going to set the location to Flinders. That's the site we created with the postcode earlier, and we'll click on save schedule. Okay, so now that we've created that schedule, there's a few other things we have to do, and one of them is the appointment types. Uh, that's created from the calendar, so we may as well do that. We've got to click on more in the top right here, and appointment types. And we're going to create two as examples. So we'll create one called initial. And we'll set that to 60 minutes duration. The location practitioner and client group options are optional as the name implies, um, but we'll set them for Flinders and the practitioner as myself. So we'll save that. And we'll also create a follow up consult. will only be 45 minutes duration. Again, we'll select Flinders and myself. Now these appointment types are what we're gonna use on the client portal itself. So these are the types of consults that clients will be able to book themselves in for. Okay, perfect. So we'll close that and we can close the calendar because we're done here now. Okay, so the next thing to do is to set up the profile for the user or the practitioner. So again, we'll click on settings from under the setup menu. 
And under the practice profile heading, we're going to click on user profile. In the top right corner, you'll notice that there's a drop down here for user list. As I'm the only practitioner on the account, there's just myself, but you can use this to set it up for other users. Okay, so we've got a few different fields here. And I'll just pop in a brief description. Perfect. Okay, now importantly for the client portal, we need to select a specialty and we need to publish our profile to make it live. So as an example, I'm just going to pick acupuncture at the top here and I'm going to tick this publish tick box at the bottom. I'll click on the save button and it's giving me a message that the profile was updated. Perfect. Okay, so one of the last things left to do is to map those created appointment types to that selected acupuncture specialty. So we'll click on settings again. And again, beneath the practice profile section, we've got an option here for map specialties to appointment types. So I'll click on that. And I'll click on the selected specialty that we chose. So that's acupuncture. Now we've got two columns here. So these are the appointment types that are currently in acupuncture and the available appointment types that we can map to that specialty. So I'm going to map both of these. I'll map initial firstly by using these arrows. I'll click on follow up consult as well. Map that across and save. Perfect. So now both of those are available under the acupuncture specialty type. Okay. So we've created a site. We've created a schedule. We've set up our profile and we've mapped some appointment types. So the only things left to do is the actual portal settings itself. So let's go back to the add-ons area. And we're going to click on the client portal tile again. You'll see now that each of these have a tick, which is fantastic, which means we're ready to set up the client portal itself. So we'll click on continue. Just informing us that it's about to take us through a quick wizard. So we'll click on set up my client portal. Okay, so we're just going to pop some, some basic information here. So we can drag and drop a logo in there if we would like, or we can use the business name. I'm just going to use the business name as an example. So Lachlan's practice. Booking page title. So the first bit of text that will appear on the page. Book a consultation at Lachlan's practice. Yep, I'm happy with that. Uh, contact number. We'll just put an example one in here. And we have three optional settings here. So confirmation policy, terms and conditions, and a privacy policy URL. Now, if you've got a website with a specific privacy policy or terms and conditions, you can actually place the, the URL for those in here. And when people are clicking on those on your client portal, they'll be taken directly to those pages. So let's save and continue. Okay, so now we're on to the next step, which is the booking form. By default, the standard details that will be collected will be the first name, the last name, date of birth, email, mobile number. We do have optional fields here for client time zone, client address, and any comments as well. We can select to make these mandatory as well. If you'd like, you can also tick on this box here to provide a form for the client to download. So this can be handy for, you know, pre-fill intake forms that you'd like. You can upload a document there, have the client fill it out and then email it back to yourself. And we can also allow the client to upload documents as well, which is handy for things like your referral. Okay, so let's proceed. Now we've got the booking settings. So there's a couple of important settings here. Firstly, we've got the appointment lockout. So we're saying that the client can't book any earlier than zero days in advance. Let's put that to two days because we don't want to get any surprise bookings on the day off. Um, we can also put a minimum notice for cancellation. I'm going to put one day. Now we've got a client's appointment confirmation email. So by default, if we preview the email here, this is basically what will appear in an email that once the client confirms their booking. So it'll display the, the type of service that they're getting, um, what type of consult, with which specialist, the location, things like that. So I'm happy with that at the moment, although you can create a custom email template 
if you'd like. So we'll stay with the default. Now we've got a client appointment reminder type. Now this is basically whether they're going to be reminded via SMS or email when it is time for their appointment. Well, 24 hours prior or 48 hours prior. So we'll go with email. In addition, we've also got a notify practitioner when booking is complete option. So basically, if a client's made an appointment through the portal, will you get an immediate notification? And what type of notification would that be? So let's go with SMS, because I'd like to get that on my phone as soon as they've made the booking. And I'm gonna save and continue. Now we're up to step four of five. This is the portal theme. So if you'd like, this is where you can basically change the colors of the portal to match any branding that you might have or any themes that you're going for. So I don't mind this, uh, this magenta color here. So we'll leave that. And we'll also use that for the header color over here as well. We can change that. These are the default ones, but you can use a, a hex code here or you can even use the color picker and find something that you like. But let's just go with that pink, okay. Okay, so the last step here is create your booking button. So this is basically a snippet of code that can be placed on your website. That will be a clickable button and it will open the client portal in a new tab for your clients. So that's pretty cool. You can change the, the size there. You can again, change the color. You can change the text. So that's something that we can always return to and copy and paste at any time. And so we're just gonna save and continue for now. Okay, perfect. So we've set up all the different components here. We've got our profile, we've got our schedule. So let's enable the portal by clicking this slider at the top. Fantastic, okay. So we've got everything in place. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna copy this URL here, which is unique to my practice. I'm gonna open a new tab and paste it in. And there we go. This is an example of the client portal. So they can book a consultation at Lachlan's practice. It's gonna be an appointment for acupuncture and it can be an initial or a follow-up consult. I'm gonna be in the same time zone as Melbourne. And then I select my appointment date and time. So there you have it. You've now set up your client portal and are ready to go. Now, if you've got any further questions, or any feedback for us, please do get in touch. Uh, and I'll be including some links below for some more in-depth guides on things that we've covered like schedules and profiles and more options that you can go through. This has just been a basic run through. And if you've got any further questions, please do let us know. Okay, thanks very much for watching the video. Have a great day. Bye.